welcome back students in this class we continue question 2 exercise 2 12.2 exponents and power in this class we start the first problem in the question 2 that is express the following numbers in the usual form so this is given as 3.02 into 10 to the power of minus 6 this can be now we have to represent or express this in the usual form so first step is write 3.2 into write the 10 power 6 as 1 by 10 power minus 6 as 6 when this comes to the denominator this will become plus 6 now we can write it as 3 not 2 3 not 2 divided by bringing the decimal point then we can write it as 100 this will become when I will show you this will become 10 minus 10 to the power of when this is 3 not 2 this will become 10 power minus 2 divided by 10 power 6 so this can be written as 3 not 2 bring this to the denominator when 3 not 2 by this will become come to the denominator means it will be 10 power 2 then into 10 power 6 we are having then next is since the base is same 3 not 2 by 10 power 2 plus 6 so therefore next is 3 not 2 by 10 power 8 6 plus 2 is 8 now next step is 3 not 2 bring this to numerator bring this to numerator then this will become 10 power minus 8 then this is 0 point followed by 3 4 5 then 3 not 2 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so after decimal point 8 digits digits this is the answer so expressing this in this form so after decimal point 8 digits now next is 4.5 into next problem 10 power 4 this can be written as 4.5 into 10 power 4 is equal to that is 45 45 into when this becomes 45 decimal point comes this side this will become 10 power minus 1 into 10 power 4 so this is 45 then this is base is same therefore into 10 power 4 minus 1 therefore next is 45 into 10 power 4 minus 1 will become 10 power 3 therefore we can write it as again we can write this as 4.5 into then we we can add 1 0 here therefore so this can also be written as 4 5 followed by 1 2 3 0 that is 45,000 so again if we want to write this one so we can write it as 4.5 into 10 followed by 4 zeros so if we put decimal point here here the power increases since 3 is there we can write it as 4 then this is 4 point when it is multiplied by this one then the answer is 45,000 so bringing it to decimal form so this is in the usual form we have written 
so same thing here also c power then we wrote both the forms we have written so this is the second one second problem we move on to the third one so third problem is 3 into 10 to the power of minus 8 therefore this can be written as 3 into 10 to the power of minus 8 is equal to 3 by bring this to the numerator so bringing 10 power minus 8 to the numerator this become 10 power plus 8 this can be written as so 3 otherwise again we can uh, take it like this then we can write this one as 3 point followed by 3 4 5 6 7 this is 7 8 so decimal point followed by 8 digits this is 10 power 8 the digits are there so 10 power 8 again when it comes to the numerator this can be written in this form so next is this one 1.0001 into 10 power 9 so this can be written as 1001 so decimal point is there so bring this one then this will become 10 power so how much is how many is there is after decimal digit there are four digits therefore you can write it as 10 power minus or uh, 10 power 4 once again i'll write 10 power 4 into 10 power 9 or we can write it as Ten power is minus four is this. So after this, we can write this one as that is one zero 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 one by. When this comes to the denominator, we can write it as one followed by four zero into ten power nine. Or we can write this one in this form also one zero zero one into this one bring to numerator. Then it will become minus. Therefore, 10 power 9 into bring this to the numerator, then this will become 10 power minus 4. Since base are equal, 1001 into 10 power 9 minus 4 is equal to 1001 into. So, this is minus means this will become plus here. So this is plus when it comes like this okay so this is plus comes uh, okay so then uh, after this when it comes here this can be written as 4 followed by 0 again this when comes to the numerator again it will become so it is uh, just don't write this it, it will keep you will get confused therefore write 1001 then followed by then this will write as 10 power 4 so when it comes to the denominator this is plus again we will take to the numerator it will become minus so here this will become minus therefore 9 minus 4 will become 10 to the power of 5 therefore this is 1.00 0 1 into again here how many 4 therefore 10 power 4 into we are including decimal digit here 5 will become 1.0001 into 10 power 9 so once again I explain write down this then decimal point is there so after this there are 4 digits therefore write in the denominator 10 power 4 into 10 to the power of 9 then 
when this goes to the numerator this will become 10 power 4 become 10 power minus 4 then here since base are equal 9 minus 4 then if write down this one as it is then we get 10 power 5 again we have to bring back to this uh, to the decimal form means again uh, we have to introduce here the decimal point followed by the four digits then this will become 10 power 4 10 power 4 into 10 power 5 is equal to 10 power 9 so this is the solution for the fourth one so we'll move on to the fifth problem fifth problem is 5 point 5.8 into 10 power 12 is there therefore 58 into so for point is there so we can include 1 0 in the denominator into 10 power 12 then this is equal to 58 again bring this to numerator Later, then we have 58 into 10 power 12 into 10 power minus 1 therefore we have 58 into bases are equal into 10 power 12 minus 1 next is 58 into then 12 minus 1 will become 11 therefore 10 power 11 again we have to include uh, decimal point here therefore 5.8 into or we can write this one as 5 followed by how many zeros? 11 zeros. 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1. So 5 followed by 10 to power of 11 is 5 followed by 11 zeros. For this now we include the decimal point 5.8 into only 1 zero is included. Therefore this will become 10 power 11 will become 10 power 12. So this is with the way to solve this. Next one, fifth problem is 3.61492 into 10 power 6. So this can be written as 3.61492 into 10 power 6. Therefore 3.61492 can be written as here only I'll write 10 power how many digits are there 1 2 3 4 5 5 or we can also write it as 1 2 3 and 4 5 5 digits into 10 power 6 so next step is again 3 6 1 4 9 2 into 10 power 6 this if it comes to the numerator this will become 10 power minus 5 so we have base same therefore 3 6 1 4 9 2 into 10 power 6 minus 5 so next is 3 6 1 4 9 2 into 10 6 minus 5 will become how much 10 power 1 therefore this we can write it as multiply this 3614920 so we will again bring back to the decimal form then we have to include one year decimal point 31492 into how many 1 2 3 4 5 6 into 10 power 6 so this is the form we brought back to the usual form so this is the this completes the second question we move on to the third one so a little bit confusing but careful be careful while writing the powers so here express the number appearing in the following states my statements in the standard form so we have to express this in the standard form 1 micron is equal to 1 by 10 followed by 6 zeros m or micron 1 micron is equal to 1 by 
one followed by ten power how many ten power six m. Therefore, next is we can we'll write this in this form ten power six m, which we can write it as when this comes to the denom numerator we can write it as ten power minus six m. So this form. So this is the standard form. Okay, next one. Charge of an electron in they are given this big number. That is how many? Three, six, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fifteen, fifteen plus eighteen, eighteen. Then one six. Column. Column. And then we have to write here sixteen by. All these numbers, since there is a decimal point after this, how many sixteen numbers are there? Therefore, we can write it as same thing, but we in the denominator since the decimal point is there. How many zeros? Six is there. I have written five, followed by one six. So this again two numbers again we have to include here two zeros. So six uh, set of three zeros and again two zeros. Next we can write this one as one point six into we can write it as since decimal point we include then decimal point will include and we can write it as ten. Followed by next we will write in the powers. Ten followed by how many twenty zeros? Twenty zeros. There how many is there? This one six six twelve twelve again nine nine. You are one two. That is twenty zeros are there. Yeah. Next we have to write one point six into here ten is there. Then this is this will become power one. This if it goes to denominator, this will becomes ten power minus twenty. Then one point six into ten. That is one minus twenty will become how much? That is one point six into ten to the power of minus nineteen. So this form we have to bring this. This is a large number. Just write down how many numbers are there. But according to this, nine plus nine, eighteen is there. Eighteen plus two, twenty numbers are there. So just write down sixteen as it is. Then followed by twenty zeros. One followed by since the decimal point. After decimal point, there are eighteen digits. Therefore, write down all the digits in the denominator. Then we have to include decimal point here. Into ten, both are same. One point six into ten is equal to sixteen. Then divide the whole denominator by ten power. Means write down how many zeros are there. There are twenty zeros here. That is three sets of. So that is six sets of three zeros plus two zeros of of these two no, these two digits. Then write down one point six into ten power one is there. Then this. Twenty digits. When it come to the numerator, write minus sign. Then one point six into minus this one minus twenty will become ten power minus nineteen. Therefore, one point six into ten power minus nineteen is the answer. So this is the second problem. We we'll move on to the fourth one. Size of the bacteria is given. Microns. Size of the bacteria is one uh, digit followed by six seven digits. So therefore, we can write this one as five by. Write on all that is all the digits that is six and seven. So seven digits, including this seven digits. So write on five. And two, then 
we have to include 1 10 here we will we have to include decimal point into 10 followed by 10 power 7 which is equal to 0.5 into 10 power 1 is there so bring this to the numerator this will become 10 power minus 7 then we can write as 0.5 into 10 power 1 minus 7 is equal to 0.5 into how much 10 power 0.5 into 10 power minus 6 therefore again we can write it as 5 into 10 power minus 7 so this is the way to solve this problem we have next one we finish this one we move on to the fifth one fifth problem is size of a sorry this one is third third problem this is fourth size of a plant cell this is given with some microns 0 0.0001275 therefore I will write the same thing 1275 followed by how many digits we have to count this 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 therefore 1 by 1 2 3 4 so 8 mm -hmm. microns then we have to include a decimal point here 1.275 into how much 1 2 3 digits 10 power 3 by we have here 10 power 8 microns next we have this again 1.275 into 10 power 3 these if it goes to the numerator bring this to the numerator then this will become 10 power minus 8 then we have 1.275 into so base is same 10 power 3 minus 8 is equal to 1.275 into 10 power minus 5 microns so this is how minus this 5 we get minus 5 then write down this is the solution for the third and third. next one last problem in this one third main problem is thickness of thickness of a thick paper is given 0 0.07 mm so we have we can write this one as 0 0.0 mm as 7 by there are two digits 1 0 0 so therefore we can write this one as 7 by sorry two zeros next is this one bring uh, include decimal digit here decimal digit into how much you can write we can into 10 by 100 or we can write it as 0 0.7 into 10 by 10 square therefore we can write this one 0 0.7 into bring this to the numerator then 10 power 1 into 10 power minus 2 therefore we have 0 0.7 into 10 power 1 minus bases are same 1 minus 2 is equal to 0 0.7 into 10 power minus 1 mm that's the answer So this completes the main question that is question 2 and 3. If you have any doubts comment me, subscribe my channel, share and like all the videos. Thank you.